Item 7E, Wilcox Fountain Grant Agreement. Paul? Uh, there's a uh, final version of the grant agreement with the Wilcox Family Foundation related to the proposed Wilcox Fountain for Kellogg Park. Acceptance of the grant for the fountain is allowable under City Charter Section 5.14. Grant specifies that the fountain provider will be outside the lines OTL and the general contractor for the job will be Shaw Construction Incorporated. Total grant will be $1,170,449.10 with the uh, city and the DDA contributing a total of another $50,000 for a project cost of $1,220,449.10. Uh, it should be noted that the agreement calls for the City of Plymouth to be responsible for any and all costs above the uh, grant level, um, uh, and if there's project funds that are in surplus, that will be used for enhancements to either the Wilcox Fountain or to Kellogg Park, as mutually agreed to between the City and the Wilcox Foundation. The Mayor and the City Attorney's Office have been working with the Wilcox Foundation lawyer to come to an agreement on the terms of the grant. The development of the Wilcox uh, Fountain has been in the works since 2016 and has been the subject of numerous public discussions. The DDA board has already approved the $20,000 match to cover a portion of the city's contribution towards the project, and the city commission will need to authorize the additional $30,000 to complete the city's final uh, contribution to the project of the uh, initial contribution totaling $50,000. Uh, the commission at a future date will need to make a uh, budget amendment, and it will be just part of your normal budget amendment process uh, from cash reserves to uh, complete the transaction. Uh, once the uh, City Commission uh, approves this, the City will need to begin to execute contracts with OTL and Shaw Construction um, for the project as outlined in the grant agreement. Uh, we've attached a drawing uh, that was supplied to the City Administration in July of 2019 that indicates the proposed design of the Wilcox Fountain. And as we understand the fountain, there has uh, no design elements to keep people physically uh, out of the fountain. Um, the agreement also calls for the placement of a two and a half feet by a two foot uh, bronze plaque in a prominent location near the fountain. Uh, this will be provided by the Wilcox Family Foundation and installed at their cost. The city will be required to insure the Wilcox Fountain for personal liability as, as well as property damage as a part of the city standard insurance coverage. Uh, we've done a search of the records dating far back as the mid-1960s uh, related to the naming rights of the current fountain. We found several references to the Rotary Fountain. The Rotary Club of Plymouth is the group that donated the original fountain. Uh, we have not found any formal agreement to either officially name it or to maintain the Rotary Club name. The uh, bronze plaque that was there for the Rotary Club was stolen a couple, three decades ago um, uh, out of the fountain. Uh, the Wilcox uh, Foundation, uh, or the Wilcox Fountain, will be a welcome and significant upgrade to Kellogg Park, and we look forward to quickly engaging the uh, designated contractors for the construction of the fountain. City administration has already begun making arrangements to work around the construction zone while maintaining our intensive uh, summer uh, event schedule in Kellogg Park. Major construction is anticipated to start following the Art in the Park event. Uh, we've already engaged the DDA board for their recommendation on the location of the band shell during construction. We offered uh, three potential locations. They chose the uh, location on Penniman Avenue just west of the current location. We have prepared a resolution for the City Commission to consider this grant agreement with the uh, Wilcox Foundation. That is attached, and again, the whole entire agreement is also attached. Uh, to your packet this evening. Awesome. Is there a motion for discussion? Moved the motion. It's been moved. Support. And supported. Um, so, uh, Paul, great recap, kind of going through all the details. A couple things I just want to make sure I, I point out. As, as Paul mentioned, this has been on the table, hot and heavy for a lot of conversation, then it was off the table for a little bit, but um, not without a tremendous amount of public input and some really intense conversations, which in my mind are always good. It's, it's, um, it's always welcome to hear from people about their thoughts and feelings, particularly on something like Kellogg Park, right? We, we talk about Kellogg Park and, and um, the impact, uh, the global impact that Kellogg Park has on all of our hearts and minds and, and the pull that, that that 
that park in the center of town has in a positive way, not all of us that are sitting up here out in the audience and, and around. So to get this type of commitment and financial commitment and the time commitment from the Wilcox Foundation to stay engaged over many years of highs and lows of the conversation is a huge testament to, to that group, to those guys, um, Scott Winnen and Dan. Um, so I, I publicly want to thank them. I, I know I've done it on a number of occasions, but um, it's a, it is a true testament to their commitment to the city, and not just this, but they, you know, they really put their money where their mouth is, and in so many other ways um, uh, throughout the throughout the community. And to the DDA board, thank you for continuing to engage in that, and thank you for the additional contribution. Um, wouldn't have been able to happen without a lot of really good conversations from from the DDA over the years, and and, and DDA staff staying on board and obviously administration and this commission and previous commissions um, it really is again a testament to I think the stick to itiveness of of a lot of how we go through our process and things it's it's not always pretty sometimes but to get to where we're at today and to get on a design and get the, the resources to put behind us to make this a reality it's pretty special it's awesome. It take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. You're darn right it did. Um, and anyone that was involved from the very beginning um, concept all the way to now. So I, I, it's a proud, it's a proud thing to be able to sit up here and say we're going to get a new fountain and it's going to be beautiful. And um, I think everyone, once you see it in, will be very proud that we we chose to go this route and and have the type of people in our community that that care enough to let their voices be heard and also they care enough to make this a reality from a financial standpoint because they have the best ideas in the world without money, you can't make them happen. So a huge testament to everyone that um, was a part of the process along the way dating back to, as Paul mentioned, uh, 2016. So um, I know I've given recaps in a number of different forums in a number of different ways over the the years thinking we were close and then we were away, but um, I'm, I'm proud of all the work that everyone put into this to, to make it a reality. Any other discussion? No? All right. Here, yes, Mark. Is it open for 